Okay, we are going to add in some stuff. All right, colors, huh? Here we go. All right, to a group. Okay, give me one second. Hmm. Well, maybe not. It says that I don't have permission to create a live video on this group. So it looks like I might have to play with settings a little bit more. I thought maybe I'd gotten to that screen. It said go live, so I thought I was good, but no, not yet. So I'm not going to spend any more time, though, trying to figure that out here. Welcome, everybody, to our Tuesday night. Thank you so much for hopping on. I am excited for tonight, and Nicole is going to be um, talking to us tonight. And uh, I've gotten lots of feedback. Everybody enjoyed that graphic of Nicole with the Santa hat on and tonight's topic is ho ho grow. So um, before we start, make sure that you check your news tab. Um, you haven't seen yet the Disney warmer that is dropping on Thursday that we didn't know was coming. So that's exciting. And um, there's some more things. Haunted Mansion will be back on Thursday. Um, anything else on our radar that we should have on our radar for Thursday? Cassie, of course, I'm going to the gnome buddy is officially coming on Thursday and the other two holiday bitty buddies. Perfect. So um, in addition, we'll be having on Thursday a 48 hour sale too, right? Probably, maybe, maybe not. They're doing that special sale on Monday. Okay. So see, I, I can't keep up. This is why we're clarifying here for everybody. So Thursday, anyways, you know what's hitting your radar. And um, okay, Nicole, we're going to turn it over to you. Okay, thanks. Hi, everyone. So my office internet isn't working. So I'm coming to you live from the couch. We're on the Make It Work program. So I wanted to talk to you guys tonight about growing your team. And can you hear me okay? Am I breaking up? Okay, good. Um, about growing your team and how important it is during incentives and always. Um, as we were talking about in our incentive chat earlier, the basis of the incentives is to really help your business in all avenues forever and always, um, not just for the incentives and the trips. Um, they kind of go hand in hand. And so for some people, show of hands, how many of you feel like you're not very good at recruiting or it makes you like really nervous and uncomfortable? Yeah, I think we've all been there. I was there too. I was always worried that if I recruited my best customer, then I wouldn't be making my PRV. And my mindset was totally twisted on that. And the second I let go of that thought process and put the arrows truly out, not just saying they're out, but really putting them out, it became kind of a game of getting my top customer to join because why wouldn't they, right? And then I find the next best customer. And repeat and repeat. And so I went a long time not being the best recruiter. And I, I don't know that I still am, but I can tell you that um, when you flip your mindset a little bit and, and something speaks to you, it's going to change the game for you. And so for a long time, like I said, I was going after my, my top PRV for the month or you know consecutive months. And I would offer them the opportunity and say, you really should do this. Like you're spending so much money with me. You should give yourself the discount. And now that we're in COVID times and our policy has changed, um, I feel like it gives us the ability to bring on more hobbyists with the potential to really shine and really find um, their place, right? They're, re they're really not gonna lose anything. And so in COVID, I've really switched it again, but I was listening to a training not too long ago from Arielle Huggins. Some of you may have heard her, of her. I know Melissa recently did an interview with her and she is just the sweetest thing in the world, but 
she was talking and it really spoke to me. And I thought when we think about it in these terms, maybe it's gonna feel less scary for everyone. Because I know you've probably heard your leader saying to you, go for the no, or who are you to decide if they can afford that warmer or if they could afford joining or if they even want to join. Sometimes we have it in our head like, oh, they're a busy mom, they work another job, you know, or maybe they're a single parent or this or that. And we've already decided for them that they don't want this opportunity, but maybe they really need it. And since you can really fit into all those spots. So what Ariel was talking about, and I think this is a very practical way that we can think about it and perhaps change your mindset is when you go to a restaurant, you go to a restaurant for breakfast, what is the first thing that happens? They sit you down at your table, your waitress comes up to you and your waitress says, can I start you off with some coffee, right? They do. They haven't decided if you can afford coffee or not. They haven't decided if you're bougie or not bougie, you need the Starbucks coffee or whatever. They haven't decided any of that. You came to their restaurant, they're your waitress, they're going to take care of you, right? You have three choices. You can, let's just say, start with two choices. You can take the coffee or you cannot take the coffee. But really there's one of the things that are gonna happen when Susie table waiter comes to you and says, can I get you some coffee? Some people are gonna be like, yes, I need the coffee. I've been looking to have this coffee. I need to pick me up, get me the coffee. And she'll get them the coffee and they'll drink it down, right? Or he, he or she. They'll drink it down. It was the best coffee they've ever had. Then the next person on the next day, they may come up and say, would you like some coffee? And they'll be like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to try some coffee. And it just sits on the table. They don't even drink it, but they wanted it, but they didn't do anything with it. And then there's going to be the people that say, no, nope, I'm good on coffee. I'll have some water today. Right. Does the waitress get offended? Nope. Just some coffee. Does she still ask them the next day if they come in the next day? Yep, she still asked them, nothing's stopping her. It's our business opportunity is just like the coffee in this scenario, you guys. You can't decide for them if they can afford the kit, if they wanna be part of the business or not. It's really important for us to kind of take that out of the equation. Don't allow our feelings to get hurt because they're not saying no to us. They're saying not right now to the opportunity for one of those many reasons. But just like with the coffee situation, you're going to have three different people that join your team or don't. You're going to have the people who are like seeking you out to join. They're so excited to do it. When can I start? How am I going to do this? All these things. And they're like ready and ready to go. You're going to have the people who sign on reluctantly because they think they want to do it, but it takes them a while to actually do anything with it. And maybe as leaders, we feel frustrated because we're like, what are we doing wrong? Why aren't it's because they like just haven't really tasted it yet. Right. They, they didn't find that sweet spot that like makes them excited about it. And then you're going to have the people that are like, nope, I don't want the coffee right now. I don't want the kit right now. And those are people you can follow up with later, but be like the waitress. Don't get offended because there's really no reason to, I will tell you that this just since May, cause we were, we were looking at annual sales numbers and this is how I know this just since May I've recruited 17 people. And it's because I don't, care so much about my PRV anymore. Yes, it's important. It's my money for now, but I see the opportunity that it has for everybody and all reasons. And I was just in an event with Amber this past weekend. And um, there are so many times you get involved in a conversation with, with somebody and it can organically come up in the conversation. It's important for you to have authentic conversations with people, genuine conversations with people, but also be thinking a couple of steps ahead because maybe they'll say something that triggers you like, oh my gosh, you need this opportunity. Maybe they're giving you $150 order and you're like, this is so silly. Let's get you $50 more and you can have it a party and we can transfer it to you and you're going to get paid back on this order. Like it doesn't make sense for you to not do this and start really letting them see the value of giving it a shot, taking a chance on themselves. Maybe they, don't, maybe they don't know what's available. Maybe they don't know that they have a host kit that they've unlocked. Maybe they don't know what that means or the benefits that come with it. Maybe they don't realize the camaraderie that we have here. Maybe they don't know, you know that we have incentive trips. Maybe they don't even realize they're gonna get paid to, to use a product that they love, but we can't decide that for them. It's so important to really put those arrows out and constantly be offering an opportunity. Don't close your party 
if you're the hostess, even if you have a, a legitimate hostess, if your legitimate hostess does not want the kit, who cares? Offer it to somebody from their party. You can do that. Offer it to somebody else who may be down on their luck and could use it, some extra money, but maybe the kit's free. You don't really need more wax on your shelf, right? If you have a, if you have a host exclusive kit available, ask three or four people before you close that party personally message them. I don't want to see on Facebook, like I have this kit who wants it. That's so like, there's no connection there. I mean, some people might bite, reach out to them. It's live streaming now. <laughs> reach out to them personally. It'd be a private message or text and say, Hey, do you remember a couple months ago when we were talking about your life was so hectic, but you were considering joining Scentsy? I've got this kit literally no out-of-pocket cost right now. I'd be happy to give it to you if you want to jump on it. There's no harm in that. What are they, what's the worst that happens? They say no. But if you don't ask them, guess what? The answer will be no. So do it. Make yourself feel a little bit uncomfortable because when we're uncomfortable, that's when we grow the most. So be uncomfortable. Offer the coffee. Our, our kit is one of the best things we have in our catalog. And every single person, there's no reason why they couldn't be a consultant. Even if they're using it at all, it makes sense. They have an entire year to decide if it's for them or not. And you never know where that diamond in their office is going to come from. You never know. And so really put those arrows out. Really, really put those arrows out and let people see what value sense you can bring to their life. Whether it's they need more money. They, meet, they need to be able to work from home. They need flexible hours. They need something their kids can be involved in. Whatever the reasoning may be, listen for those cues. Have conversations with people. Don't just say, you want to buy my stuff. You want to join my team. Let them see the value in the products. Let them understand how good that coffee tastes, right? Like it's, it's coffee. It's that simple. The waitresses don't get offended at all. I've never once had, it, I've never once had a waitress cry because I told her I didn't want her coffee. Because guess what? It's not her coffee and she doesn't care. And she's going to ask everybody else that comes into, into the place that day if they would like some coffee. And guess what? Some people are going to be like, yeah, heck yeah, I want the coffee. And they're going to keep refilling their cup because they love that coffee. And there are some people that will leave it sitting on that table and others who are like, nope, don't want the coffee. But the waitress doesn't get offended. The business owner doesn't get offended. The customer isn't offended if, if they come in another day and the waitress asks them again. So why are we hesitating to offer our coffee to these people? What's stopping you? And I want you to really think about that. What is stopping you? What do you have to lose? But I can tell you two important things. If nothing changes, nothing changes. So if you're stuck in a rut and you're not willing to do something different, you're never going to get a different result. If you do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've already got, right? And if nothing changes, nothing changes. And so it's important for us to really take a step back, think about what, what keeps us here at Sensi. What makes you happy in Sensi? What got you going in Sensi? What is your favorite part about it? Whatever it is, share that with the world, post about it, um, show, show, let people see the value it's bringing to you because it is a very valuable business, not just because we love our wax and warmers, but for all the other reasons we've mentioned, it's, it's so valuable and every single person can benefit from it in some way. Will it be for everybody? No, it won't be. Some people are going to be just like the rest of us who really just wanted the discount. We're pretty sure we were never going to go anywhere with it. And here we are 10, 11, 12 years later, still here selling wax and warmers, growing our teams and loving every minute of it. Some people will feel the stickiness and they'll stay and they'll be that diamond in the rough that you, you found. Some of them are gonna be hobbyists and that's okay because you need those too. And some people are really lost right now and because of Sensi and the opportunity that you're bringing to them, they're gonna find themselves. And it's gonna be one of the most impactful things that's ever happened to them. But if you don't take a chance on them, by being completely transparent and saying to them, I really think you could benefit from this business. I really think this could be, bring value to your life. You're doing yourself and you're doing them a disservice. So think about it like the coffee. It's really that simple. It's the coffee that the waitress is bringing them. Don't get offended by it. 
And just because they say no thank you today doesn't mean that tomorrow or in a week or in three weeks or three months or three years from now, they're not gonna want your coffee. Okay. Okay, I'll get off my box now. <laughs> um, will you, do you want me to read you two of the, can you hear me? Sure, I can hear you, yep. Um, I don't understand how to offer my, there's a missing word I think. I don't know, I don't understand how to offer my to someone other than hostess. Where do her rewards go for what she did earn and do we just change the info on the party? So will you speak to that first? Sure, absolutely. So I will tell you that when you are using somebody else in the party or another person as cleaning the kit, it does get, could get a little bit fishy. So you do need to pay attention to what you're doing because you would do exactly that. I would recommend you screenshot or write down everything your hostess wanted with their credits because you can get the host kit with just a penny left in your, in your rewards. Um, but I would screenshot it because then you're going to have to change the host to the person who wants the kit. And this way you can add those items back in. Now, if they're out of town, that could get a little iffy. And I could walk you through that at some point. If you get into that, I can help you with it. But um, you would need to change the host because the person getting the kit needs to be the host. So if Susie Q is having the party and she has $75 in free product and three half price items and the perpetual reward, um, she can still claim all of that. As long as there's you know a penny left, she gets all of the rewards. They're just going to be lumped under that person, um, but that person's going to get the kit. So you can do that. It's, I would say, the messiest way of all of them to do it, but that doesn't mean the kit can't be used. So don't let that deter you. Perfect. Thank you. And if the, Dawn, mm -hmm. if you have any other follow-up questions to that, you can certainly ask them. Yeah. Um, Jody says, I do have a question. I'm closing five parties offered to all five, but not interested yet. So how would you offer it to her guests? Post on, par on the party or private message those who ordered? Of course, the kit would be $59 since the host gets the rewards. Correct. Correct. The, the kit would still be $59 for that person. So what I would look at first is who was the biggest spender within that party? That's what, that's what I personally would do. And I would reach out to them privately and say, hey, Susie Q is not in a place right now to cash in on this unlocked kit, but if we don't use it, we lose it. So I wanted to offer it to you because you know, I was looking at your order and it looks like you love Sensi and I would just really love for you to take advantage of this if Susie Q is not interested in it. Let me know what you think. And if that person says no, then you can publicly post it in, in the page and say, hey, this kit is unlocked. It's gonna, if we don't use it, we lose it. I can't join again or I would do it. Is there anybody here who would love to have their own business and give it a try for just $59? I'm glad to help you do that. That's what I would do. That's how I would handle it. And congratulations on having five parties. Thanks. Like a boss. <laughs> Are there any other questions? <laughs> Chat here. Um, let me check. Anybody want to ask? You are gonna, what are we going to say? Go ahead. She's going to say, show of hands, how many of you are going to get out of your own head and put on your waitress apron and start handing out the coffee? Who's doing it? Yes. Because if nothing changes, nothing changes. Get uncomfortable. That's when the magic happens, I promise. I was looking at the comments on Facebook Live and Kate said, thank you for taking the chance on me. I totally found myself here in this family. I love it. Oh, so. I wanted to know how to approach a single mama who had wanted to be a boss and be a stay at home mama. Um, Brenda, do you mean like, like how would you approach her to offer her the opportunity? Is that what you mean? Yeah, well, how to state it, because I don't want to come off like sales, like, you know, be like, oh, you can get this and, and you know, get extra money. Well, extra money is always going to be good. But she had posted on her um, on her feed on her, you know, that she wanted to be a boss and still be able to be at home with her, her baby. I know she works yeah. full time. She works full time like I do. I just don't have any kids. But she works at a bank, but I know she wants to be home with her baby. So it was kind of like, I don't want to approach it and be like, Hey, cause I think that's my problem. Like she's my nephew's, um, fiance. 
So I don't want to be like, how should I say that salesy kind of pushy kind of person be like, well, you can make this, 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 and that. I just want to be like, you know what? You want to start off like me, a hobbyist, but then I want to have more goals and be able to, you know, of course, everybody wants to make more money and, you know, retire their husband, et cetera, et cetera. I just want to be able to, how to pitch it to her basically. Right. So yeah, we definitely don't want you to be salesy. Of course, we don't want that. We just want you to share. That's right. the best thing to do. And obviously she's, she already opened that door a little bit for yeah. you by saying she wants to do that. And so I don't think there's anything wrong with you messaging her privately and say, Hey, mm-hmm. what, I don't know what her name is. Hey, so-and-so, right. um, I saw your post and I really think that since you could bring value to your life and perhaps be that thing you're looking for, I would okay. love to chat with you more about what I do and the fun that we have, um, and answer any questions you might have. Awesome. Super simple. Yeah. You're acknowledging that you saw her post. You're validating where she's coming from. You're putting the ball in her court without shoving it down her throat. Um, mm-hmm. But you've opened up that dialogue. That's probably yeah. how I would handle it. Yeah. The good thing is my cousin, which is her mm-hmm. soon to be mother-in-law or his mother-in-law, she's ordered a few things from me too. So she, I, and I think they live together. So I think she kind of knows about the products, but yeah. I haven't been that type of like, oh, smell this, smell that. So she kind of knows what I do. And she did like the comment I put because I did put Sensi. That's all I put on her comment. So, and I wanted to approach her through message. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I would do, I would message her privately and just, you know, keep it simple. Right. Open the door a little further. Put your, put your toes in. She opened the door, put your toes in. Okay. (laughs) And just, you know, gently let her know that you're, you see her, you hear her and you want to help her get what she's looking for. And you think Sensi could be that. Yeah. That Cadillac. Mm -hmm. Of course. Are there any other questions? No? Anything anybody wants to add? One of the things I'll say, Melissa, is when growing your team, I think also taking the approach of even some of your best customers, sometimes they're afraid of the business aspect that goes with it. And just again, and we've talked about this multiple times, is just sharing the discount that they would get. And sometimes when they dip their toe in the water, then they realize that it's not as bad as what I thought. And I actually enjoy it. And they soon go from just wanting that discount to something more. So when you offer it, just say, hey, I'm not always saying that you have to jump in like I do. Um, however, it would make sense for you to have a discount. So I know that's not the case for the, the person that you're talking about, Brenda, but if you have those customers that um, buy quite frequently, just offering the business opportunity. And sometimes we've always talked about how um, only having to be active once in a 12 month period as a negative, but I actually view this now as a very positive because I think it does open the door to the people who really love Sensi. And it's almost a low threat for them to try it and realize that the community that we have, the products that we have, um, it's much easier to do what we do than what they think. And so sometimes- It kind of takes the um, pressure off, it's it a whole as, year. Yep, yep, it takes the pressure posing right off the as mom. a discount sometimes isn't as threatening as the business because sometimes they see us and you know, we're so involved with it that it might be a little intimidating. So that's another way to approach it when trying to grow. Another thing I forgot to mention, but it's important and, and an easy way for people to see the value initially. If you have a, a bomb hostess who's just doing a great job and she has a four or $500 party, even if they don't, even if it's a $200 party, as soon as that kid is unlocked, I automatically, when I tell them what their party rewards are, I say, you have X amount in free product. You have this many half price items. Um, you can choose what you like, or you could grab your own business kit and do what I do and have a lot of fun and, and for free or whatever it is and still have X, Y, and Z. And I can flip your orders. And so you're going to get paid on it a while too. Let me know what you prefer. Just throw it out there. Give them their options because if they don't know it exists, they're, they're not going to know it exists. They're going to like, okay, I'll get three half price items and $75 in free product. No problem. Like, let me, let me show, tell you what I want. They didn't know that they could do that. They didn't know that they could, you know, join for free. And when they see that, 
I find that light bulbs really start going off when you're like, listen, you could join for free and still have 16 or $17 in free product. And you get these three half price items and we're going to transfer it to you. So you're already going to be making a hundred dollars. Like I'm going to pull an Anna Hughes here, but like, don't suck at math. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't, don't suck at math. Let them see the real value. But when you're, when you're giving them those, that message, you're not word vomiting on them. You're not salesy because you're, but you're giving them like the car facts. You're like, okay, here's what you can do. You choose what you're doing, but I'm laying it on the line for you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a consultant by its toe, hopefully. <laughs> and sometimes it really is just laying out the obvious. Like yeah. sometimes it really does become kind of a no brainer because mm -hmm. especially if they spend a lot of money with you already and love the product and come back to you often, if they have a party that is substantial and like you said, it doesn't have to even be substantial, but they have a party that they can, that you're willing to turn around and flip and they get the commission on the people that are their people anyway. Sometimes it just makes perfect sense it really I have a does. question yeah Go ahead. on when I have parties the hostesses always want a link um, because that's what their people want so how do you work around that because I've learned that having a link you cannot flip those sales to them yes you so can I, you absolutely can it's just a little oh, extra okay, work teach me so Okay, so when okay. you have a hostess like that, you're gonna to wanna to do it in the same month. So don't have it be a party that's like the end of November to the beginning of December. And then December 4th, they decide they wanna join because you're not gonna be able to flip November's orders. But if they're all online orders, all you have to do is um, send them the email. You'll put in the host reward kit um, in their cart and that'll send them the email. Once they fill it out, it'll, tell, it'll give you the toggle, which you've seen, right, Dawn? You've seen that toggle? So you can flip it to them. Yes. When you start the okay. party, right? Y yep. No, okay. no. It's no? after they've, so you've gone through the party, people have ordered online. They're like, you know what? I do want to join. And you're like, okay. So in their product credit, you're going to put in their kit that will send them an email to fill out, to actually join you. And then okay. once that happens, once they fill out the email in the host cart, there's like a little yellow, like banner across the top of it. And it'll say sw switch PRV or something along those lines. And you'll toggle it over to say yes, even if there's nothing in the cart to switch over to them. You'll say yes. And once you've closed the party, then you can call support and ask them to please transfer all of those orders to the now new consultant. It takes a couple oh. of days sometimes, but they will get that transferred over to them. Okay, that's excellent because I was told that couldn't be done. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Uh, loyal customer for 10 years, but sold Mary Kay previously, so was very adverse to joining. Finally joined because my consultant told me how little was actually required to be active and how much I could have been getting back this whole time. All that to say, even after 10 years, she never stopped suggesting I join, even with adamant no's. And that is such a true testament and we see it all the time that no just could mean not right now not now yep not right now yep um actually there's somebody on here there's two somebody's on here for my team who were not joining for a really long time and they finally did and they're glad they did everybody's lives change all the time it's always evolving and changing and you never know when it's going to be the perfect time for them but we don't get to decide when that is they get to decide so still offer it to them because it's just coffee <laughs> Cassie says you just never know when the right time is for to join. what else What else do you want to talk about? Hmm. Anything? Another or thing no. I just thought. 
Yeah, oh. go. No go. Another thing I just thought of with regards to the coffee, you guys, sometimes people, they like, yep, I want the coffee. And then it sits on the table and it gets cold, right? And maybe I'll take a sip or two, but it's cold. And the waitress comes back and what does she say? Would you like a warm up, right? So maybe we have consultants who join reluctantly and they haven't quite seen the value or found their footing. Maybe they just need like a little nudge in the right direction. Like don't give up on them, you know? Maybe they just need their their mug, re, you know, a little bit refilled, warmed up to get them going again. So that's all, that's all I got. Okay, well, let's end early. Yay, <laughs> happy Tuesday. All right, you guys, big, another big drop on Thursday. Um, and let's keep sailing straight into Thanksgiving. Okay. We will be here next Tuesday. Um, we have a really awesome speaker lined up for next Wednesday. She is powerful and inspirational. So you will won't want to miss next. Did I say Wednesday? Did I? Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. We have a speaker next Tuesday. Tomorrow morning, we have cubicle starting at 10 a.m. Uh, Thursday evening, bonus training for the week, Thursday night shift. There are always opportunities within Together We Sent um, and our extended Together We Sent family. There are always opportunities to be together, to be a community, and to grow. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Nicole, thank you so much for guiding us and leading us uh, in our training. And you guys have a great evening. Ho, ho, grow. You're welcome.